Hi guys, Peter Finch here and I'm down at St. Town's Old Links for a very specific video today. This is how you can become a much better putter and as the title suggests, put like Jordan Spieth. This does not, this does not include uh, details about Jordan Spieth technique. That has been done a lot of times and if you punch it into YouTube, loads of videos are gonna come up. This is about Jordan Spieth's practice schedule when he's actually with the short stick. Now, this is based on an interview he did a couple of weeks ago when he described his normal kind of putting regime when he's not at tournaments. And he was saying he hits a thousand putts during a practice session. Now, a thousand putts is a lot. It puts a lot of strain on the body, a lot of strain on the concentration. But you can see by where he is in the world at the moment, with obviously a fantastic long game, very good technique, but his short game and his putting is that step above everyone else. He's unbelievable and the stats show that as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Jordan Spieth putting challenge, if I want to look at it like that, that he inadvertently laid down. I'm pretty sure he didn't mean to do that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try a thousand put session. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break it down into chunks so you guys can see what I'm doing and I'm gonna record my results. If I feel that it's beneficial, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and do this about once a week or once every two weeks. Because obviously we're not all tour players, we don't have the time to kind of invest in this and just do it every single day. So I'm gonna try and do it once every week to two weeks if I feel it works out. So. Without further ado, let's give this a go and let's talk you through the different kind of games and different kind of drills that I'm going to be using as well. Okay, so this is where it's gonna start. 10 puts from three feet. Now, this kind of shortest distance is the one I'm gonna start off with just to try and effectively build that little bit of pace, build that little bit of confidence as I go around. But what I'm gonna do is effectively, I've got it written down here is I'm gonna do 10 times 10, so 103 foot putts. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda of concentrate on this for a couple of goes and then I might try and move on to another hole just to try and vary it up a little bit. I don't just wanna be hitting 100, 100 putts to exactly the same hole every single time. Now from there, I'm gonna expand it out to five feet, then to seven feet, then to 12 feet, and then to 15 feet. So these concentric circles kind of coming around, effectively big clock drills. Now the reason for this is because as you go around the hole, you're gonna get different breaks. So you're not just practicing a straight uphill put or a straight downhill put or a left to right put. You're gonna get different puts one after the other. And as long as you keep switching holes, it's gonna be a variance of that as well. So you're not gonna be going to the same hole all the time. Now after I've done those effectively clock drills, I'm gonna move on to some longer puts. So 100 puts from 20 feet and 100 puts from 30 feet as well now that is going to be kind of different puts again around the green just trying to gauge distance and gauge the feel a little bit now if you're practicing on the same green all the time your feel will be tuned into that green it's almost impossible for many people but what I would suggest is trying to do it on different putting greens as well here at St. Anne's relatively lucky this green is pretty good all year round and I know it's not that easy for some people especially kind of some courses that are going to be a bit wet and a little bit more boggy in the winter it's not easy to do but you know try and do you know try and find somewhere where you can easier said than done I know so then we're going to move on to those and then we're going to loop back round and do 10 more puts from four feet eight feet and then ten feet so to fill in the gaps that were there originally so as the sun is starting to go down and I don't have much time let's get going I will also be listening to music throughout this so I don't die mentally inside let's give this a go <laughs> Right then, so I've moved on to five feet. Uh, three feet was interesting. Uh, 91 out of 100. And the ones I missed were more concentration more than anything, actually just losing it a little bit. So I'm down onto the five feet now, switched over holes. And I'm gonna go around again. Right then, so that is 200 puts down, light is fading fast, and I've got to go out and play a bit of golf. So I'm going to come back and effectively pick up from where I've left off today. Hopefully the weather is as nice. 
and welcome back. It is the day after the night before and we have basically got to carry on as long as, as, long as we can. Uh, I managed to get 2 hours and 200 puts done last night but that was broken up with quite a long phone conversation I had halfway through so I'm going to kind of refocus my energies on the next 800 puts. I'm going to carry on with the clock drills for the shorter distance puts and then extend it out to longer puts as we get onto the longer distances and then at the end compile all the results, compare where I'm at to say the tour players using tour stats and then work out what I need to work on within my stroke and within my technique. So it's a couple hours in. If I was to round it down, I'd say it probably would have taken me an hour and a half without the conversation. So about an hour and a half, I'd say, is probably the time that I'm actually at the moment for those 200 puts. So let's carry on. We are now onto the longer ones. I've done the three foot and I've done the five foot. So we're now onto the seven foot puts. Let's go. quite hard uh, to get them all in now, <laughs> but I'm uh, about 15 feet. Right, so we're on to 20 footers. Uh, this is taking ages. <laughs> it's now ten past two. It's, uh, it's exhausting. I, mean, I know I'm only kind of on the putting green, but I'm actually, I'm actually getting almost three thousand steps just putting. It'll be on about about ten thousand by the time I finish. I think with the length of these putts coming up. So twenty footers. Right, so we are back onto the short putts. So I've done the long putts, the uh, tiring putts, and now we're back onto the short ones. Four, six, and then eight feet. Right guys, we are on the last 100 shots, uh, 10 feet, and then I think I'll finish this video up back home because the sun's getting a little bit low and I'm going to have to have a lie down, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Right guys, so it is again the next day. Uh, it was fun editing this, <laughs> to say the least, um, and actually kind of try and pull uh, up some interesting kind of facts and figures for you guys, really. Um, what I found was, I think overall, because the whole process in total, two hours the first day, effectively five hours the second day, is a seven hour day to kind of do it all in one putting. Now, I found that very difficult. Physically, yes, because holding your putting position for that long is hard. You know, it's, it is quite physical work, even though you are just moving the putter back a small distance. It's hard to hold your body in that position. 
So I found that quite tough. But other than that, I actually found the concentration levels to be very hard to maintain as well. Now what I've done is I've just done a little kind of chart here of what I kind of found during that day. Um, it's just on numbers on, on the Mac and it, it kind of shows some interesting kind of things here. Now, first of all, you can see by the kind of charts that obviously as the distance increased in puts, so initially from three foot all the way to 30 foot, the percentage of puts holes is obviously reduced quite drastically. So it goes from 91% all the way down to 16% as it drops down near the end. Now, throughout all of these, um, my percentages were okay to be fair, in relation to kind of PGA stats, in particular speed stats, which you, you've obviously seen in the middle of the video. But probably what I'd kind of stress to add is the green at St. Anne's Old Links, although it's fantastic for this time of year, it's had, it has undergone work. And certainly from the longer puts, you saw a lot more deviation in the actual ball, so a little bit more bobbling offline. Uh, the shorter ones were a little bit better. I might have to find a particular hole, which I didn't want to do initially. I didn't want to kind of focus on one hole, but I had to find one hole which was kind of the best one out of the lot and that's what I kind of went to most of the time on that second day. But what I kind of found was, yes my stats were okay in comparison to say Spieth's, but he's obviously had a lot more putts. So he's had a lot more chance to hold putts, yes, but he's also had a lot more chance to miss putts. And as the distance gets longer away from the hole, the percentage that you miss will increase more and more and more. So that's definitely points in his favor plus he's doing this in a competitive situation these are his stats for when he's playing for me this was just getting the numbers recorded so there's no doubt that there's a lot of work to do um on my actual putting stroke what the kind of whole day certainly highlighted was that the practice was paying off because when i went back to the shorter distance puts from the longer distance puts my actual stats improved so my effectively four foot puts and three foot puts were relatively level 88 percent and 91 percent but my six foot puts were better than my five foot puts and my 10 foot puts were better than my seven foot puts when i went back to the shorter distances i did structure it that way so i could see if there was a difference and there definitely was so the amount of puts i hit very simply paid off the the practice i put in paid off and i hold more puts on the shorter distances the second time around one thing i certainly did notice was my concentration levels when i was putting when it got to about kind of 60 to 90 that kind of 30 kind of put range my numbers of misses went up significantly this was more i think concentration levels and a little bit physically i was just a bit tired and i just lost a little bit of concentration i think one thing i definitely took from this is when I'm going to do it again, I will not do a thousand puts. One, because of the time constraints, but also I actually think after the 60 mark, my puts, I don't think I actually learn much because I, I don't think physically I'd be in that condition when I'm putting normally. And also my concentration level started to go just simply because I've been hitting so many puts in a row. So I think what I'll do next time is I will literally half the number of puts I hit, so down to 500, and then just double up the scores. So 50 puts, if I miss 22, that's 44% effectively of those puts missed if I rounded up to that 100 mark. So that's what I'm going to do when I redo this test, because I think that would actually be more beneficial. It'll put a little bit more pressure on the puts that I have to hit, and it'll also be a little bit easier on the body whilst actually maintaining the levels of concentration. Now, as you can see, I've kind of recorded my kind of stats here and I will do this again when I redo this test. I think what I certainly learned from my stroke was I was hitting a lot out of the center of the, the blade, which I'm happy with, so I'm quite happy with the new putter. If I was going to miss on my left to right puts, it was certainly on the low side. So I wasn't quite giving it enough break and I wasn't quite hitting it along the right line. My right to left puts I was pretty happy with. I managed to drop those in mostly at dead pace. When you look at these stats and you see the kind of 20 to 30 feet puts go down to 18 to 60%, that is obviously something I need to work on. But I'd like to retest that when the green is a little bit better because the amount of deviation, like I said, was greater 
on the longer puts. So what I'm also going to do, guys, these um, numbers are obviously on this video, but I'll kind of upload these onto my website. I'll leave a link in the description below. And also with effectively the routine that I went through if you wanted to copy and if you wanted to give this speed kind of practice drill a go. If he was accurate in his interview, and if during a practice session he hits a thousand puts, then he has concentration levels and the physical levels that I just don't have yet. So it's certainly something to strive towards and it's certainly something for everyone to strive towards. But it's gonna be interesting to see next time I go out and play how good my putting is because hitting that many puts over a two day period is more practice putting than I've probably done in the last two years which is ridiculous really. I, honestly, over the last two years, I'd be very surprised if I've hit 2000, uh, 1,000 practice puts, just simply because working kind of full-time at a driving range, don't have the, the chance to do that. So it'd be interesting to see how much it's moved along. I certainly feel a lot more confident now after I've recovered physically. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for watching. Comment in the box below as always, let me know what you think. Let me know if you want to give this a go as well. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on my other social media platforms. And we'll see you down here next time. And if you like this style of video, if you want me to put myself through that much pain again um, and test out what other tour, tour players are saying, then let me know. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.